hello everyone and welcome to my channel again yeah after a long time uh, i'm filming again the weekly journals i didn't give up on them but only that it was the winter holidays with christmas holidays and everything so i took a break to making this one also because I took a break also because my uh, daughter was in Christmas break so I uh, said okay maybe to spend a bit more time with her and not to be stressed that I need to do something I have to do something so maybe if I would had have time to film it I'll do it but if not uh, this didn't happen so I'm so glad to be with you again. I hope you enjoy your holidays. I hope you have a new uh, fresh vibe and uh, expectation for this year. I do have uh, some, uh, I don't know, some personal um, things that I want to do uh, regarding to uh, this project by Katarina Designs. Maybe I will do some new stuff, not only patterns. I don't know. I have some ideas. I started to work on something, but I don't know if the time or uh, what life will bring me will uh, let me put uh, put them out there this year. But anyways, I have the ideas, which is perfect. So. Uh, started to work on them so if it will happen and it will be uh, the thing that I will do for this year then I will be um, glad about it now this week uh, well uh, there, there's been three weeks I think so it's like most what I've been working on in this three weeks but uh, yeah what i want to share with you today is uh, of course what i was working on this week because this week i started to properly do the job like a daily job and do things every day which didn't happen during the during the break so but first i want to share with you my uh, favorite things that i designed in uh, 2022 okay so i'm trying to get it like from old to new let's just say i don't know if i will manage because i don't remember the exactly uh time that i released them first they were folded in some uh, boxes so they might not be um looking so good but yeah so this is the cariopsis version because it's uh, sleeveless I also have a, a yellow mustard with brown um, a sweater version this is worked in hobby twister solid so it's a sport weight yarn and for the other one I think I use Katia Lagom, or Lagom which is uh, a DK weight yarn so I really love this one. I love the construction because it's this uh, dropped shoulder. I love the stitch pattern with this uh, V stitches. So yeah, this is uh, one of my favorites. The second one, I don't have the lighter green uh, version because I made two of them this is a leftover version which I kind of can tell that I love it most so this is the fern top this was a top that I designed uh, back in 2008 and this year I uh, updated the pattern made another two samples this one is in um, uh, leftover yarn so you can tell that I uh, started with more colors for the back, but then I <laughs> I didn't have enough, so it looks like this, but I kind of like it. Um, the third one is the knitted version of the Seabreeze cover-up. So this is knitted. 
and I personally love this one not because I like it more than the crochet version but because it was the biggest largest project which I need using uh, 3.5 millimeter needles and sport weight yarn so this is something that I'm really really proud of and uh, I love it I love it love it then I have um, another top which I needed and this one I don't know I just started to work on this one just because <laughs> so I didn't have anything I think it's dune top or gray dune top it's needed as well with this uh, nice eyelet pattern and this for this one I think it's worked with 10 millimeter needles so it's pretty pretty fast project and I used um, uh, from Katia I use a recycled cotton yarn which is Echoes I think it's called and this yarn wasn't designed to for garments I think from uh, for Katia it was more to be like to do um, bags to do um, home decor stuff so not uh, not uh, a garment but I was thinking that if I'm using bigger needles I will kind of get that drape that i want and it's looking pretty nice because this is a kind of um, really big cotton yarn it's not bulky as it's listed or chunky but for sure is a thick cotton yarn and because i wanted to recreate this uh, dune top and make a crochet version but it took me a while to um, to find a stitch pattern that will match the, the eyelet and I came up with this stitch pattern and this is the dune top actually because that one was the grey dune top for this one I'm, I used uh, We Are Knitters the cotton and um, this cotton is pretty nice but uh, because I, I, I am used with other cotton to have more memory and not to stretch that much I think it got pretty much bigger than it was in the beginning but yeah anyways it's like a summer top you can use it as a cover up so it's perfect I don't mind it then uh, I have so many projects that I have, but I just got uh, a few of them. Then another knitted cardigan, and I'm proud about knitting because it's something that I'm not uh, usually do that often. So every time I finish something, I'm like, wow. <laughs> so this is the Raye cardigan, which is knitted using the same eyelet pattern as in the dune, gray dune top. Um, the idea of this cardigan was to use some single skeins that I have uh, from the Wonder Acrylic Yarn by Furs. And yeah, now I'm thinking to recreate the crochet version, but we, we will see if I will manage to. But not getting into the uh, autumn winter stuff because I still have something summary that I want to show you uh, I forgot how it's called this so this vest that I made it's pretty nice using this chain stitches I love it and um, then of course a really fast project which is cloud sweater i made this in two samples and this is using a 15 millimeter crochet hook and a bulky weight yarn and uh yeah it's a really fast project and i love it and not to forget about the sella jumper which i made i think in november 
it's getting out get out in november i love this one and uh, i want to make another tea version using cotton i can't wait to see how it will look and i have another knitting project knitting sweater which is the cleos sweater it's still wet this one because i washed it as i wearing it a lot so this is the cleos sweater and of course this vest which i uh, posted the video tutorial for it this week i was pretty excited about it i was just wanted to recreate the crochet version of cozy fluffy cardigan which is not on my youtube channel but maybe sometime i will do a tutorial for that and it's a stripy cardigan using um, a leftover yarn and some fluffy stripes and i wanted to recreate that but it, it's not the same it's difficult to recreate a knitting thing because uh, it's not laying the same it's uh, different but i kind of love it like a vest so i let it like this and uh I wanted to make with make it with sleeves but I got started with this neon pink for the stripes and uh, then I said okay I won't have enough but this is a leftover yarn project so there would be no problem if I will go for the sleeves with another color but when I finished one sleeves I didn't like it so I said okay I will let it as a vest and then to uh, after posting because this was like a for me project it was nothing it's something that I really use around the house because if it's colder I I do want to <laughs> feel warm but also to have my hands free because working in the house washing this just cooking some wool sleeves won't be uh, um, helpful <laughs> And because I like to have baggy sleeves and to, to be wider and so on, it's definitely not a thing even to uh, flip them on. So I said, okay, it's perfect. But you guys asked for a video tutorial at least and a written pattern, maybe I will manage to write it. And I made a shorter version <laughs> uh, using some other yarns. I used uh, Langyar Soho for this stripes and then this is Wool Addict uh, Glory, the same yarn that I used for this sweater. So, and this is what I was doing because we are getting to what I was doing this week. This is what I do. I was doing. I was finishing the vest, finishing the tutorial for it, and then another thing that I was do another thing that I was do doing this week was to update the pattern with the tester notes for the lava sweater to edit the video tutorials because you know i'm making the tutorials in romanian as well and yeah i'm planning to publish this pattern soon so yeah this is mostly what i was uh uh what i liked for the past year what i did the from the makes that i uh, from the design that i uh, uh got out of there but there are so many projects that i liked and for example i managed to finish the third newish sweater because i love it so much and uh, i said okay maybe i will make another one just as a relaxing project to have during the evenings because if i have i realize that if i'm starting to make something that i already have a pattern for it then it's more easy it's easier for me to get relaxed and actually enjoy it otherwise i'm starting to get okay i need to film this part i need to stop working so it's uh, always in my mind it's something that uh, i need to do about the project that i'm working maybe take a photo maybe count something maybe take a note for the button because it's important if i'm uh, losing it or forget about it so it's not uh, it, it's not the same thing it's not that i don't enjoy that process but it's not the same so having a project like this following a tutorial that i already have or a pattern that i already have it's uh, always nice uh, to do so yeah um 
next week maybe i will share with you some of the projects that i have in mind so i'm trying to share with you or which are my ideas for this year and to see what you think about it if you think that it's a good idea it's not like i won't get with them <laughs> to the end that like some dreams that i have and uh but i would be curious to see what you will think about it and then of course if you have idea what to discuss next or what to work on or what to show you for the next uh, weekly journals please leave it in the comments or use the link into the description box with um, the form because uh, yeah we're starting again having this weekly journals and uh, it's not that i don't have any ideas but i will be uh, interested and it will be nice to have something that you are interested in it too i know that i have a mosaic uh, crochet sweater uh, suggestion to make like a crochet along but we'll see yeah so yeah this was for today thank you so much for being here and uh, see you next week